Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today we're in the shop. I've got a bunch of uh, suspension parts here. I think it's for, uh, I don't know, 44 somewhere around in there, 38, not really too sure. But anyway, most of it's all brand new. We got brand new springs, all these little things here, whatever that one's gonna be for. Got some old stuff. That's pretty simple. We know that we have to sandblast that. But we need to prep this stuff up. A lot of people I know just, you know, they get this new stuff and they don't even clean it. They just start painting away and you wonder why your paint peels and chips away in a couple months. That's because this isn't prepped properly. You know, this, this chunk here is made out of some really good steel. It looks like cold roll and it's really quite shiny. You put a coat of paint on that, it's not going to adhere very well. So I'm going to show you what I do to get all this stuff prepped up and uh, painted and ready to assemble. First thing, get yourself a wax and grease remover. You can use a paint thinner if you really wanted to. And we're going to get rid of any of the grease that's on here. You'd be surprised. It might not look like any grease, but there will be some. We've talked about uh, prepping everything. Now, like this is pretty smooth stuff. Paint it, it's not gonna stick very well. Just take some 80 grit. And all I have to do is give her, you know, a nice good little scuff like that. Doesn't take very long at all. Now that's one option. You can use a palm sander on there. That would work for fine and dandy. But I have a sandblaster, so I'm just going to give it a light little dusting with the sandblaster. Now, this is new metal. We don't have to pound it really hard. And even with this, uh, these springs here that have got a, a coating on, I'm just going to give them a real light little bit of a sandblast, and everything will be great. All right, I'll hook the sandblaster up. We'll see you outside. Well, we got everything all hung up, and now it's time to mix up some uh, primer. I'm using a uh, Cloverdale Dura Prime for the uh, epoxy primer, and then I'm using this Dura, uh, Cloverdale Armor Shield Semi Gloss Black for the uh, for the paint. Quite like the system; works well. It's economical. And uh, we're four to one. Not sure how much we're going to use, but you can always mix more.
Foxy's dry. Two coats of uh, semi-gloss black coming up. Okay, it's the next day. All our parts are dry and it looks really, really good. I really like the, uh, the semi-gloss black there. Nice durable finish. It's gonna look good. Now I know it's a lot more work, but you're putting a lot of money into a hot rod. It's worth a couple extra hours of work. All right, until next time, thanks.